morning everyone today we are going to start with the different topic that is nothing but the soil nailing which is present in your last chapter or the last module that is reinforced soil and anchors so in this soil nailing soil nailing is one of the linear technique uh, we can say when we talked about the method of this technique it is the principle is quite uh, we can say simple we uh, that we do the here is that uh, as a reinforced soil uh, we and this uh, soil reinforcement is the uh, we can say the soil nailing is the soil uh, uh, passive reinforcement so without wasting time we are going to uh, see the entire presentation and uh, entire we can say the overview of this presentation in the next slide so this is these are the certain uh, overview first of all you have to see the introduction about the soil nailing then the applications of the soil nailing history and types of soil nailing then uh, components of soil nail wall material used for soil nailing machinery use procedure of soil nailing advantages and disadvantages and conclusion of this technique this is nothing but the entire overview about this technique which is same as your reinforced soil soil basically this uh, soil nailing which is a technique which is firstly established in a 1972 soil nailing is an uh, inside soil reinforcement technique that has been usually uh, Use mainly in a cut slope retaining system and slope stabilization. Means uh, in geotechnical engineering, we already studied the chapter number three, that is stability of the slope. Okay, in this uh, chapter, there is no any method or there is no any such type of we can say uh, method is used uh, to improve the ground or to improve the slope. But uh, you can improve the slope stabilization with the help of this method also. then the soil nailing method has been primary use for the temporary retaining structure if your retaining structure is a temporary it is not permanent in that case you can definitely use the soil nailing system there is a mainly due to the engineering concern uh, with uh, regards to the durability of the metallic inclusion in the ground and shortcomings of a facing technology in recent years the technological developments have been mostly focus on the producing low cost corrosion protected nails and prefabricated concrete or the steel panels to overcome these limitations in the this uh, soil uh, we can say in kind of the soil nailing system has uh, now become a common construction method in a uh, european countries and a large number of temporary and permanent retaining structure have been reported in this uh, united state uh, we can say in the united state the engineering use of this technology for the permanent structure is uh, currently growing uh, with the uh, we can say large or increasing we can say increasing local experience followed by the development of the standard specification for the designs then the design constructions quality control and monitoring of soil nail structure now typically in this soil nailing system nailing must be able to resist the bending okay then shearing or tensile stresses and in a practice generally steel bars are used as a inclusions they may be placed in the drill holes and grouted or may be driven in a position where you want for providing local stability preventing soil erosion or eliminating effect of the weather facing of the thin layer of reinforced short crete is provided nailing and facing are the place immediately after the slope is ready and such construction are only when possible when the ground gives sufficient time for their installation without being filled this is very important thus their use in a granular soil soft plastic and organic uh, are not be feasible in this case so basically now i am going to conclude about the introduction that is it is used for the reinforce and strengthen existing ground this technology means soil nailing is used to reinforce to give the strength of that particular soil and to give the strength to that particular soil once the strength is offered to that particular soil or that typical soil what happen engineering properties increase when the engineering properties increase ultimately your ground improvement is uh, we can say uh, improved hence your ground improvement is there means your structure can bear any type of load 
so the installing closely space bar in a slope or the excavation what happen in the slope or the excavation you have to install a closely spaced bar now how it is placed that you have to see in the next slide it is an effective and economical method this technique is very effective and economical okay which is useful as well as which required a very less amount of money as compared to the other methods of the improved improvisation of the ground act as a retaining wall for the excavation support as i told earlier it is a passive method so it is act as a retaining wall it is such type of method is quietly preferable for the temporary retaining wall structure also but act, it act as a excavation support to the uh, we can say in the so retaining wall now this is the typical we can say pictorial presentation about the soil nailing if you pass from the mumbai pune highway uh, in a various section of the ghat sections are uh, we can say protected with the help of this technique that is nothing but the soil nailing technique then these are the applications about this technique uh, it is used in a uh, landslide uh, remediations then the railway embankments roadway widening under existing bridge bridges then the stabilization of existing retaining wall highway embankment and cuttings so let us talk about the very first that is a landslide remediations there are some application areas which are listed below the soil nailing technology has been used in the variety of civil engineering project it is we can say endless engineering project civil engineering project including stabilization of rail road and highway cut slope construction of excavation retaining structure in urban areas for high rise building and underground facilities that may be we can say pipeline or maybe the gas pipeline nowadays such type of facilities are provided in the urban cities then the landslide stabilization tunnel portals in a steep and unstable stratified slope and other civil and industrial projects typical application of soil nailing are used that is your landslide recommendation remediation then the railway embankment roadway winding under existing bridges stabilization of existing retaining walls and highway embankment and cutting so first talk about the landslide re remediations soil nailing is provided in the landslide stabilization okay to give the proper strength in the landslide now how it is that we have to see with the help of uh, figure see here this is suppose we can say your ground this is uh, this is nothing but what your ground and this is your slope if it is your slope this is the we can say area okay this is the area where uh, you have to provide uh, soil nailing suppose this is here this these are the horizontal or see not a horizontal we can say inclined members are nothing but the soil nails these horizontal members are nothing but the soil nails and this is nothing but uh, we can say this entire this blue shaded region is nothing but the soil mass this is sm simplicity it is soil mass and this is what your this incline line shows your soil nails that is sn okay so sn stand for what soil nail and this is stands for what sm stand for what your sliding mass if you using in the incline direction if you using this particular soil nail technique what happen ultimately it give proper strain to your landslide area and what happen if it is give the particular strain to that particular area what happen ultimately of that ground is improved this is all about the landslide re re remediation now next uh, we can say about the embankments okay so in the embankment what happened that you have to see exactly over here in the railway embankment in the railway embankment also such type of soil nailing is provided now we can talk about the retaining structure soil nailing is also provided in the construction of excavation retaining structure in the urban areas high rise building and underground facilities okay so now how it is suppose this is nothing but the, we can say uh, these are the some excavation lines okay these are the excavation lines 
okay and this is the excavation area okay if you using in this excavation area if you are digging the soil in this direction these are the we can say holes or pore which are useful for the soil nailing when you use in this section the soil nailing technique or the method what happen ultimately this area is protected okay or the strength of this area is what increases so in the such way typically uh, typic it is nothing but the typical application of the soil nailing in the retaining structure okay so next is nothing but we can say as i told earlier uh, the tunnel portal also okay it is used in the tunnel portal also now how it is used in the tunnel portal uh, soil nailing is also provided in the landslide tunnel a portal in the step to understand the stratified slope okay so now how you now question may be arises in your mind how such type of we can say soil nailing is provided in that particular shape of the tunnel okay now see here suppose this is the entire semicircular area of the tunnel okay this is nothing but the axis of the tunnel we can say this is the axis of the tunnel okay and here in this semicircle this such type of anchor pins are used in a both the direction it may be left or it may be right both the direction okay so it may be left or it may be right okay whatever it is in the both the direction such type of anchor pins such type of this these are the anchor pins this anchor pins are provided and the, the anchor pins are nothing but what your soil nailing technique okay it is nothing but the reinforced zone this entire zone is nothing but what reinforced zone where the mesh reinforcement is also provided in that particular area so in this way we have to use the soil nailing technique in the such type of tunnel portaling also now uh, next you have to talk about the abutments and highway embankments and all so the in the highway embankment such type of uh, the bridge embankments uh, how we can say the abutment is used in the soil nailing is provided in the bridge abutment for the various uh, technique as uh, mentioned uh, in your applications now how it is that you have to see over here suppose this is nothing but the your highway okay this is nothing but the highway this is nothing but the culture of your ground okay what happened this is again the lowest level of the ground we can say the water table is just below to this what happened you have to provide soil nailing over here because you have to improve this entire area because what you have to do you have to improve this entire area over here okay that area you have to improve okay so that's why you have to use the soil nailing over here so this is all about the applications about this technique which is used in the landslide re remediations as well as the railway embankment roadways and all then the stabilizing the existing retaining wall highway embankment and cuttings okay so in the next we can say these are the some applications that we already talk about this that is stabilization of highway for the cut slope then the stabilization of roadways see here here the typical soil nailing technique is used here also that soil nailing technique is used okay so the tunnel portal in the system see here in this the in this area this type of soil nailing technique is used and here also the soil nailing technique is used that is stabilization of steep slope so these are the typical application about the soil nailing technique okay shall i move further okay see here this is the history of the soil nailing first of all while talking about the history of the soil nailing the it is a new australian tunneling method in a 1960 it is developed in the australia to and the name of that technique is nothing but the new australian tunneling method then the underground tunnel in the europe in the europe that this same technique is called as underground tunnel which is developed in 1970 and the modern was in france okay and the modern technique which is developed from the france in 1972 so this method this last method this last method we are going to add up that is nothing but the 1972 method the united state first used the soil nailing in 1976 okay so these are the some you can say uh, questions may be arise from this particular history of the soil nailing on your gate or any po sector examination so that's why i put just uh, uh, this four fonts in your uh, slide
then the types of uh, types of nail use okay which types uh, of this particular nails are being used in this very first technology is nothing but uh, the very first technology is uh, uh, drilled and grouted soil nail second is a driven soil nail and third is nothing but the self driving self soil nail okay so in this drill or uh, and grouted soil nail what happen in this driven nails um, this type of nails are small diameter rods or bars ranging from the 15 15 mm to 46 mm or the metallic section and these are made up from the mild steel they are closely spread of about 2 to 4 bars per square meter depending upon the condition of the site or we can say depending upon the condition of the strata of the soil or the depending upon the properties of the soil here the nails are installed into a ground at a chosen inclination by driving it with the hammer if a grouting between the nails and surrounding soil is needed okay so special nails with the integral longitude in the hole for the passage of grouting may be used for the grouting after the nails are driven to full length of the penetration the installation of the driven nail is economical and rapid may install 4 to 6 nail per hour however the length of the bar is limited up to the 20 meter also the presence of bulldozer may affect the progress of the work or the progress of the installation now we talk about the second that is nothing but the grouted now this first drill is over now we have to talk about the grouted soil nails in the grouted soil nail they are generally steel bars diameter ranging from 50 mm to the 46 mm with the L strength of 402 MPa so in the drill and ground soil uh, soil technique or soil nailing system what is the same similar pattern which is present over here that is nothing but the bars ranging from the 15 centimeter that is 15 mm not a centimeter sorry it is 15 mm to 46 mm okay now next is the yield strength in the uh, driven nails there is no yield strength which is present but uh, while talk about or while you are going to adapt the first type that is uh, grouted nails um, the yield strength is also observed that is 420 mpa okay then they are placed in the boreholes at the chosen spacing generally ranging from 1 meter to 2 meter and cement grounding is then made up under the low pressure in this grouted nail what happen you have to improve you have to import the this such type of cement grounding technique in the low pressure okay now next is the uh, driven so uh, soil nail it is a just of the we can say uh, new technique which is used over here in this technique what happened the uh, high frequency vibro procursion hammer while cement grouting is also done during the installation through the axial channel inside the nails with the jet action causing hydraulic fracturing the surrounding soil uh, to we can say increase the area of the grouting or to can say to increase the entire pressure on that particular area the this type of uh, driven soil nails installation technique provide a recompaction and improvement of the surrounding uh, grouting uh, is significantly the pollute resistance of the composite inclusion now last is nothing but the self breeding soil nails these are generally double protection scheme similar to those of the commonly used in a ground anchor practice and uh, we can say this is generally not adapted this self driving soil nails technique in the general practice of the industry of the civil engineering to improve the soil strata so this is the typical slide which consists of the component of a soil nail wall which is very important slide for the for to understand a particular this special topic that is soil nailing which is again Im we use to improve the strata of the we can say so soil strata or the to improve the ground so the first is nothing but let us start from this first uh, element that is nothing but the grout okay so this uh, grout used for the soil nails usually consist of portland cement and water the grout functions to uh, first of all it transfer the shear stresses between the deforming ground and tendons now what is meant by tendons the tendons are the ground reinforced element behind the soil nail wall and equivalent to steel bar okay here the tendons are provided in this section actually here the not mentioned here the tendons are what provided okay so the transfer tensile stresses from the tendons to the surrounding stable soil and provide some level of corrosion protection to the tendons 
grout is placed in the drill hole under the gravity using the trimmy method this is all about the very first that is your grout in this way these are the different uh, uh, component of the soil nailing technique that you have to see in the detail that is the geo composite strip drain is there to percolate the water then there is a welded wire mesh okay the wire mesh is uh, provided to raise the returning any of the we can say soil strata is loose in that case that you have to sustain that particular soil strata so there is the welded wire mesh is provided then there is a bearing plate See here this is the nothing but the bearing plate is also provided to that particular soil nail okay then there is a washers are also provided then the nail head are provided then the there is again different one to different head is provided and then there is reinforcement is also provided this, so this is nothing but the entire component of the soil nail wall now question may be arises in your mind uh, which type of material that you have to use in this particular technique that is soil nailing so in this type of we can say uh, technique we have to use the different types of uh, material first is nothing but the soil reinforcement second is the first is a soil reinforcement uh, and second is a grout mix and third is a short creating or we can say gunit okay so these are the SGS that you have to remember first S stands for steel reinforcement that is SR second is grout mix that is G and third is what short creating so this is CSGS this type of material you have to use in the uh, soil nailing system so this is nothing but the material which is used for the soil nailing as you can see the first picture there is a reinforce used in the soil nailing reinforcement is used second the grout mix is used and third the short critting with the help of you can say pipe the short critting is done so these are the three pictures that you shows the material used for the soil nailing then the which type of machinery that you required in this particular technique that is nothing but the soil nailing so in that you required the drilling equipment as well as the grout mixing equipment that is mixer which maybe we can mixer or the machine mixer there are various type of mixer nowadays various type of mixer are available in the market okay that is dependent upon the quantity of the uh, material which we have to mix then the short cutting or the gunnetting equipments and last is a compressor these are the machinery used so again i am going to refit the machinery that is used in this particular important technique and that technique is the soil nailing so first is drilling equipment second is the ground mixing equipment third is the short cutting or the gunnetting equipment and lastly is nothing but the compressor now see here these are the typical equipment which are used with the help of picture i am going to explain or i am going to visualize you which techniques or which machinery we are going to use in this technique so very first is nothing but the typical drilling equipment so this is the first picture shows you the drilling equipment second picture is a grout mixing equipment this is the second unit then the third is short cutting is done using a pipe as i told you earlier the short cutting is done with the help of pipe which having a capacity of the mass concreting when there is a large concreting is present at the same way you have to use the short cutting then the compressor is also to compress that particular air and the flow of that uh, or the fluidity is maintained in your concrete and it is placed uh, in such a force so it is stick to that particular wall and uh, it gives a large amount of strain so such type of compressor are used in this such type of techniques now again this is the very important slide that is procedure of soil nailing in that this is the very important slide as you refer n number of book the very critical is present in this this type of soil nailing system from the two or three books what i conclude or what i understand to my mind just i take down the steps first is a excavate the small cut or dig a small cut then drill hole for the nail firstly what you have to do just about you have to excavate the small cut like this then dig the hole in that okay to nail install a grout and the nail here in the periphery of that hole you have to install a grout that is cementing material place a drilling drainage strip initial start kit layer and install bearing plates okay 
then what happened your structure will be like like this okay as you see in the component of the short uh, soil nearly the structure is like this am i right okay so now the repeat procedure for the final grade and place final facing on the permanent wall okay so what you have to do you have to do the final facing on the permanent wall of this particular soil nearly now in the next the construction sequences present with the help of historical presentation first of all is you have to excavate the small cut if you observe here the ground strata from the ground strata uh, at the distance of 1.2 meter you have to uh, take a platform and that is nothing but we can say excavation unsupported cut up to 1 to 2 meter high in the second with the help of uh, drill you have to drill nail hole and thirdly you have to install the excavation initial excavation not to install then the drilling of holes and all now in the third what you have to do you have to uh, introduce a grout and nail bar here okay and in the for this is the picture for the nail installation here it is a 3d view about the construction sequence this is what 3d view if you observe this is the active zone it is the passive zone and as i already told you in slide number 1 this is technique which is the passive technique so it is the triangular grout is injected into the soil with the help of this equipment a uh, drilling equipment we can say then the place uh, reinforcement and uh, drainage on the surface of that particular technique and then the short cutting and installing bearing plates is going on so it is a construction sequence of this particular technique okay that we have to see over here then the repeat the step to the final subgrade and uh, this is the permanent facing which is present in your last picture okay so it is the construction sequence about this particular ground improvement technique that is nothing but the soil nailing then when you are going to use any type of we can say method or any type of we can say idea or technology it must have advantages and disadvantages so first of all we have to talk about the advantages of about this particular technique because this technique is a uh, useful for 2e now what is what is the meaning of this 2e is this uh, 2e so what is the meaning of this 2e that is nothing but uh, uh, it is useful for the easier as well as and it is the economy also for economical point of view also then the very first advantage is nothing but the short crit uh, facing is less costly then grouting only once is required saving labor and time cost too the technique is flexible and easily modified and then there is a less impact on nearby properties if you are using the uh, this technique soil nailing technique or here and uh, suppose there is one we can say on the back hand side there is one another ground but it uh, does not hazard to that particular ground then uh, the it can be used to strengthening either the natural slope as i told earlier in the first uh, sli second slide and uh, man made cut off slopes too then it allow excellent working space in the front of excavation phase as you see over here see in the last slide we already uh, talked about that that is nothing but suppose this is your entire technique of the soil nailing and here you provide the bearing plate what happened here the this exposed area is nothing but your uh, we can say the excellent working space is present over there to the excavation phase and then it is the uh, uh, rapid and use uses less construction material okay it is very fast uh, we can say happened the construction is very fast and uh, it is required less construction material too and uh, as i told earlier uh, this technique is very we can say economical then the conclusion about this entire technique the soil nailing is the potential solution of the landslide problem if you hear the news in the 4 to 5 year back there is one area in the pune region in the ambegaon taluka there is one small village that is nothing but the mul malin village in that malin village such type of uh, incident is happened due to the landslide problem so in a such area they adopt the technique that is nothing but the soil nailing and secondly this is economic and also applicable in the seismic zone okay where the seismic uh, zones are present you can uh, use this technique and you can get a uh, definite uh, uh, good uh, kind of result and then it can be used in the wide soil types uh, it, there may be you can say your cohesive non cohesive alluvial non alluvial any type of soil red soil black soil any type of soil is present you can uh, uh, feel free to use this technique in the 
uh, to improve the ground that is nothing but the soil nailing okay so this is the all about uh, 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 we can say uh, um, uh, lecture or the all about important topics which are present for the soil nailing first of all the introduction about the soil nailing that is the uh, we can say the definition of the soil nailing then the history then how it 